Hello and welcome to Sarah's Tarot. It's Chinese New Year on the 5th of February and to celebrate I am doing a reading for each of the 12 signs of the zodiac. And this reading is for those of you born under the year of the snake. And so I'm going to start with the tarot and then we'll take a look at the angel answers deck and I have a fortune cookie for you which I shall read out at the end of the reading. And that will be your, your little, little fortune for the month ahead and also your lucky numbers. So it will be up to you what you do with those. Okay, and it's the year of the pig this year, which should bring an element of luck as the pig is a lucky creature in the Chinese zodiac. They're also very sociable, fun, and happy-go-lucky people. It's good to be around. They like to socialise, they like to eat, and um, they're generally nice, pleasant people. So hopefully some of that wonderful pig energy will rub off on each of us this year. Okay. Now, the snake in Western astrology, when converted, is... In fact, a Taurus. So this is a earth energy. In Chinese astrology, there, there is the, the elements do also exist. Like the pig this year is the earth pig. So there will be a groundedness to, to their energy coming in. Um, so yeah, uh, your bottom card is the four of pentacles. So just as I said about being grounded, um, you couldn't get more grounded than this four of pentacles. As you can see, this guy is sat here, feet firmly on the ground on top of these two coins or pentacles. He's, he's got one balancing on his head and he's holding on tightly here. Now, as it's an underlying energy, I feel as if um, this month is going to be one where... Um, you're going to sort of feel, I I feel quite protective of, of something or someone. It, it, it may be your own heart you're protecting here, but it, it could be to do with, with, with someone else. It may also be to do with money. So there could be um, an element of frugality this month. Perhaps you're having to be very frugal. Maybe you're saving for something. Um, but whatever it is, there is something here you're really uh, being very cautious about and not letting go of. So let's have a look then. Your first card, the Empress card, relating to romance and love. What a beautiful card to get for romance and love. Um, this relates to beauty, it relates to nurture, it relates to care and love. The Empress nurtures everything and everyone around her. She's the uh, archetypal mother and caregiver. Um, and with regard to love, this indicates that love will grow this month. Okay, um, this, this Empress is a very fertile energy. So if you're in a relationship, then the, you can expect the two of you to, to really sort of... Um, grow stronger uh, this month, you know, your love and the love between you will will grow stronger and it will get deeper. And for many of you, it could be very beautiful. And the snakes are loving characters. Once they're in love, they normally stay in love, you know, and often find a lifetime partner. Um, so this makes a lot of sense, um, especially with Venus in this card. Um, so yeah, so this month, for those of you in a relationship, it's a good month for love. It, it's the two of you becoming more intimate, more loving, more caring, and the connection will get stronger for, for many of you. For those of you who, who are having difficulties in a relationship, then this indicates... There is a need to nurture, um, nurture your relationship and help 
things to grow stronger between you. Perhaps you have lost your way and this is asking you now to put the focus on the two of you, spending quality time together and getting things back on track. And for those of you who are not in a relationship, then the Empress is asking you to focus on yourself this month, you know. It, even if you would like someone in your life, sometimes you need to kind of step back and say, well, no, I'm going to make this about me this month. I'm going to look after myself. I'm going to beautify myself, pamper myself, work on my self-image, you know, look after my, my well-being and not make it all about um, a partner. Once you've had some time doing that, then the time may come for you to open your heart to someone. But right now I feel it's more about focusing on yourself here. What makes you feel good? Spending time in nature, perhaps. Um, you know, a bit of pampering. Why not? And the next card relates to career and finance now. The High Priestess is a card of intuition and psychic insight. So you will be very astute this month, dear snakes, with regard to work, business, finance. And snakes are generally quite business-minded anyway. They have a way of, of seeing and knowing and they can be quite visionary in many ways. Um, so they do tend to have a lot of business sense and you're being asked here to tap into your intuition this month with regard to any financial decisions or work decisions that you make, okay? If something doesn't feel right, if there is an investment you want to make or you're at work and or, or you've been offered work or you want to... Um, you need to make some decisions regarding work, then listen to your heart this month. Listen to what your instincts are telling you. Tune into that because it will be very strong this month, you know, um, and take your time tuning in. Okay, and the next card relates to general well-being. Now, what is it that you are tempted by at the moment, dear snakes? Is it food? Is it alcohol? Is it cigarettes? Is it gambling? Is it too much TV? Too much internet? Um, it could even be of a sexual nature, perhaps, um, you know, this temptation. Whatever it is, you're, you know, you need to look after yourself this month, and that's especially so with this Empress. You need to be strict with yourself and realise, you know, um, whatever it is that you feel, that you are attracted to that isn't healthy for you, it's about focusing on letting go of that. It may be that you just need to give up chocolate, you know. This is a month, February, when a lot of people give something up and perhaps that's what you need to be doing this month because whatever it is, it's affecting your general well-being. It could be a pattern of behaviour a pattern of thought, a negative negative thoughts that you're having about yourself or about your life. You will know how that resonates with you and everyone's different um, that will be watching this reading. But there will be something that you, you just need to pull away from and let go for your own general well-being this month. And then as we move along, we have the lovely knife. Nine of Pentacles. I do really love this card. It relates to freedom and um, enjoying the fruits of your labour. Now it's in the obstacles and challenges position. So I feel as if it's asking you um, to make sure that you do spend some time doing the things you love, even if you are incredibly busy right now. Even if you have a lot going on, you know, it's also asking you to get outside in the fresh air, get outside with nature, you know, just go for walks, um, a day out, you know, breathe that fresh air. The challenge is 
to not isolate yourself. The challenge you'll hear is also about independence. So if there is anyone that you are relying on at the moment and you feel they have too much control because we do have this, this devil card here. If you feel that they have too much control this at the, at the moment, then this month is a month for you to show what you can do on your own terms, okay? To realise, you know, you don't need this form of control in your life, if it's a person that is. But if not, then this challenge is to get outside and just be yourself this month. Be free, you know. Um, let go of some of your responsibilities, dear snakes. Because the snake does tend to take their responsibilities quite seriously at times. Um, so this is asking you to, to make sure you do find some quality time for yourself. Um, and then we move on to the advice card. And the advice card this month is the page of wands, okay? The advice here is similar to this card. It's about getting out and about and being a bit bold this month, okay? Now, if you have been kind of stuck in a bit of a comfort zone, then your advice card is asking you to break out of that bubble this month, okay? What is it you'd like to do? Because you're being advised to have a bit of an adventure. You know, this is about getting that spring back into your step and being like this lovely page of wands who relates to fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sag. I often feel this card relates more to Aries than anything because Aries is an energy that likes to just go for it, you know. If they think about doing something, they do it now. They don't wait. Um, now, snakes do tend to like to, to take their time over things, but your advice here is that life is for living, okay? And you need to get out there and really grab the ball by the horns this month. And your final card is from Spirit and the message that they want you to hear this month it comes through the hermit okay now your cards really are pointing to you needing to break free to break free of this kind of bubble that i feel you in when i look at these cards the three of cut these cards together i really do see that you have some of you have shut yourself away recently and some of you are just sort of feeling stuck or burdened by responsibility or for some reason unable to do the things you want to do. Now these cards are very strong with regard to you really moving forward and um, enjoying your life this month, okay? Getting out of this bubble or isolation or withdrawal that you may have been experiencing Spirit very much want you to, to get out there and be with people and to socialise. And if some of you are feeling a bit lonely, this is about perhaps finding some groups to join, some activities to, to do and, and, and find people to talk to, to socialise with, okay? And I know it's winter and it's nice to be wrapped up warm indoors, but perhaps you've been doing too much of that lately and spirit want you to, to to get out and about now and be around people this month because it will be good for your general well-being okay don't don't feel trapped or stuck inside and with this four of pentacles you know it's about relaxing letting yourself go don't be so serious dear snakes you know life is for living and let's have a look at your angel answers card for this month a look you have the card get more information so that makes a lot of sense as you had the high priestess card 
and the high priestess steps back until she has all the facts and sometimes she knows more than she lets on and sometimes she doesn't um, you know make any decisions until she feels things are right okay and that comes once the information comes in now it I feel this has a lot to do with uh, financial business or work situations um, this month so do get more information and then tune into your intuition this month don't rush into anything um, more details will come to light as the month goes on and then you'll know what to do in terms of money finance or work and now let's take a fortune cookie for you let's see what your fortune is this month uh, dear snakes and we look at your lucky numbers for the month ahead okay you will become a great philanthropist in your later years how lovely is that so you are likely to be in a position a good position financially and feeling very secure in later years and a lot of snakes do tend to end up in a very secure position and this is going to put you in a position where you can help people and that's really lovely a lovely thing to look forward to some of you might already be doing that now and your lucky numbers are 27, 10, 54, 24, 56 and 3. Okay, so that is your reading for this month. Have a wonderful February and if you'd like to order a reading from me, you can do so by clicking on the link below. Bye for now.